my name is John, welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I do quite a lot of fabricating, I make a couple of fire pits for a friend of mine, I show a little bit of that, a bit of plasma cutting, a bit of welding, a bit of finishing. I do plenty of lathe work, I get some more work done on that vacuum chuck for the, the large woodwork and lathe. Then I go into the mill machine and I have a little bit play around with the dividing head, which I've never used for quite some time. Um, I've hope you find it all interesting. In one of the sections of the video I was working here and it was really cool, so I had me warm air heater on. Uh, unfortunately, when I stopped speaking, the camera zooms in on any noise it can find, which was the heater. Uh, I'm definitely going to invest in some radio mics so I can have like, a lapel mic on. Then all you'll hear is me waffling on, I suppose. Anyway, I'm sure you'll still enjoy the video. I did eventually manage to get that left hand thread cut to make a little jig piece which is all I do is just a test piece to make an adapter for this vacuum operated chuck. What I need to do now is machine that taper on the end of here. That taper fits into there and it's actually the taper that holds it on. There is two screws that go through there. And there's also two jack and screws to get out of the port. Tapers are strange things. If you take it a little bit too much off, you've spoiled the job, so we'll have to creep up on it carefully. So we'll set the compound side up to be able to cut that taper. Once I've got the taper cut on here, that's kind of that'll probably be the worst part of the whole job. But there again, it's also probably the most interesting part. I'll put this in the chuck first, so we'll try and get it to run, and then we'll set the compound side up to cut that taper. We'll see how good I can get it in the, the three jaw chuck before I give it. Put it in a four jaw chuck. So all this is for is to set up the, the compound side. So we need to measure that angle or at least set the, the cup outside up to that angle. There's two little nuts on the cup outside that lock it in place. Put the port out of nuts. Once they're loosened off, you can swivel it. We need it there because I'm going to go across that way, so that's the sort of place we need it. But I can use this tool holder to give us a starting point so we can move that in until it's touching all the way across like that and that's going to give us basically something to work from then we'll put it down here Jane and then the phone really begins so basically all we do now is wind that up and down the taper and when that down here stops moving, it's basically going to cut that taper. The important thing is, the down gauge must be on centre height. So if I lift it up, it goes down. And then it goes down, it finds a high point, but it's actually hitting the bottom of the compound slide. So the down gauge is above centre height. I've had this after for quite a while, and it's the first time I've actually needed it to, to set up a taper. You can see what's happened there, it's actually hitting on the compound slide, so it, it should go to a high point and then go lower as it goes past the centre. So what I'll do is just simply drill in that hole down there so I can drop the gauge down. This is a tool hole that comes with a set. It's not a great lot of use for anything, but it is handy to mount the, the down gauge onto. This tool hole that actually had a knurling wheel in there, which was it did work, but that's not the ideal type of knurling wheel because you put a lot of load on the lathe 
anyway that's enough talk about what it isn't, isn't going to do we just want a 6mm hole drilling the top and throw there I'll use one of the new drills we've got 5mm It's super critical way I put this as long as it's got a, a six wheel turn it wheel in. I put a lean wheel or two there. Put it in there. Best for these drills. I'm going to go through a poor stage because I might need to. Mount something on the other one. Right, back to the job in hand. Right now it's obviously below a centre height so if we lift it up the point where it stops is on centre which is about the 68 ish Right so basically that is on centre height now Right, so the gauge is actually moving four or five thousand so the tape is not quite right so we've got to adjust the compound slide until that doesn't move at all right I've spent quite a few minutes setting this up so if we set a zero and we'll wind the compound slide up the taper it's basically the same at both ends that's about as good as I'm going to get it.
start cutting the tape off. This is very, very shallow tape on the deal, as you can see. Once we go a little bit deeper, but it certainly seems to be locking on. A little bit deeper, then I'll put some marking glue on and see how many other tape there is. I'm going to run this a little bit faster. It's at a thousand now. I'll take it at fifteen hundred. Nice finish on there. That's the the tip on the top of there, right on that. Take a little bit off there, just using some memory tape. I'm using a really long piece of tape and I'm keeping my hands well away. Just throwing it between finger and thumb so it doesn't like the leg grow, it does snag because things happen really quickly on the edge. Trying to lock on there now. So you can see it's hitting down here now. So we'll take a little bit off this part. I'm not talking very much. That's pretty good now, it's got good coverage now the other way up. Right, I'm going to settle for that, it's running nice and true. It's uh, certainly got a hold now. So we'll deem that tape I've done. Plenty of people last week because I was getting a lot of chatter suggesting that the headstock bearings were slack. In fact, I did adjust them very, very slightly, and it's made a massive difference. I've got no chatter at all now. Before I part the 
off, I just want to put a centre into this end. You know, I know you might need it. Set it up again and putting a, a centre in here makes it much easier to set up. Should you need to. Just about off there. 